is short for Conference of the Parties, and this refers to the 198 signatories to the Paris Agreement. If you live on the planet Earth, you have a stake in what is decided at COP28 this year. So we'll be talking about Australia's opportunities and challenges for building an export industry based on renewable energy. It is actually the least cost pathway to go down the renewables route. Renewables are by far the least expensive form of energy now in Australia and in a great many parts of the world. And that has been driving a whole lot of decarbonisation. If you want to put in this many megawatts of capacity, now makes sense to do that in solar, not with any other form of technology. So we've done some calculations here at the ANU, which has shown that even though Australia is producing 1% of global emissions onshore, commodities dug up in Australia actually account for another 5% of global emissions. So there's the opportunity there to not only decarbonize ourselves, but also our trading partners and neighbors in the Asia Pacific. So that's through making what they call green metals. So using renewable energy and renewable hydrogen to process iron ore and renewable energy to process alumina into aluminium. Also using hydrogen to make all sorts of important chemicals. Countries who want to buy our commodities want to make sure that they're clean because they need to also account for the emissions that were associated in the commodities that they're using. Technology researchers and engineers in particular are very valuable in educating policymakers about the technical challenges and also helping them to understand how policy interventions are going to change things. You need to be funding research and development, you need to be funding deployment and pilot plants. It's our role not only to do the technology research, but also to spread the message that this is going to be possible and it could actually get us to a better industrial outcome than the system that we currently have.